born on a Tuesday at University Hospital, Columbus, Ohio, USA, a country caught between black and white. I am born not long from the time or far from the place where my great-grandparents worked the deep, rich land, unfree, dawn till dusk, unpaid. I am born as the South explodes, too many people, too many years, enslaved, but not free. I am born in Ohio, but the stories of South Carolina already run like rivers through my veins. Greenville, South Carolina, 1963. On the bus, my mother moves with us to the back. It is 1963 in South Carolina. Too dangerous to sit closer to the front and dare the driver to make us move. After the chicken is fried and wrapped in wax paper, tucked gently into cardboard shoe boxes and tied with string. After the cornbread is cut into wedges, the peaches washed and dried. After the sweet tea is poured into mason jars, twisted tight. After the night falls, it is safe for brown people to leave the South without getting stopped and always questioned. Are you one of those freedom riders? Are you one of those civil rights people? We board the Greyhound bus bound for Ohio. Jacqueline's mother takes her children once again back to her childhood home in South Carolina. They witness racism, segregation, and soon find out how strongly their mother feels about calling a white person ma'am when she breaks off a tree branch and uses it as a switch to discipline her son. But still, their mother wants a better life for her children, so she leaves for New York to find a home. She is gone for months, leaving the children to learn about their southern roots 